I know, I know, I know. Where is mixed? What's up YouTube? It's been a minute since y'all have seen my face, at least in a vlogging format. I haven't posted a vlog since like January 8th. So I figured I'd come on here, talk to y'all, let y'all know how I've been, what I've been up to, and ideas for possibly some new videos. So on January 8th, your boy hit a little bit of a low spot. I got burnt out, I guess as uh, YouTubers call it. I've been making videos since I was a little kid. I've been doing YouTube now for like four years at least. Vlog after vlog, custom after custom, and your boy got tired. I got burnt out. I was doing it every week. Not many results, you could say, um, that I wanted. My goals weren't getting met, and I think it just took a toll on me. So I decided to take a break. I think the last vlog I posted was the boys go to Atlanta. But it was super fun. We got to explore downtown Atlanta, see the Coke Museum, do a bunch of fun things. But after I got back from that trip, I kind of just realized... I think I'm done. I, you know, I didn't want to quit YouTube. It's still a huge dream of mine to pursue YouTube in some shape or form. So I switched to short form content. I started making short form videos, whether like mini vlogs or stuff to post on Instagram Reels or TikTok. And I also started a little mini series. I think we're like 20 episodes deep right now. It's called Better or Worse. It's basically where I take something and we see if I make it better or worse. A lot of times it's been better, thank goodness. If you haven't checked that out, it's on TikTok, Instagram Reels. YouTube shorts. We've made some pretty awesome stuff as far as like shoes, different clothes, some action figure stuff, but it's about to be September. Your boy's turning 22, which is insane. Um, it's like less than a month away. So I figured why not a better time to, you know, get back into the vlogs. But like I said, a lot of y'all have been asking me where I've been, what I've been up to, and when am I coming back to YouTube apparently. And your boy's back. I uh, got some big plans in the future. Been working on a bunch of different projects. I have a clothing site that I've been working non-stop on for like the past year. But I have been making shoes as always, clothing as always, just a lot more behind the scenes. Taking a break from the filming and posting aspect of it all, it gets super tiring. There's definitely a reason that your favorite YouTubers just disappear off this platform. It's very demotivating even though it's fun and you can post whatever you want. It takes a toll on you for sure. I did come out with a short film documentary style video that I really did enjoy. Uh, a couple of you guys did too, which was awesome. That's like the only video I've released on YouTube since January. It's not really my normal type of thing, but I thought it was really fun to do and to pursue. I got a, a new gimbal recently, so I got to use that for the whole short film process. And it was fun to learn that. I've also been flying my drone a lot, been learning that whole process, how to fly a drone, how to not push it to go too far and straight into the water. I've already lost a drone shooting my buddy's music video. And I've been doing some of that too, working on random music videos or projects, helping them do some filming, just getting very comfortable with my camera. So I've been working a lot on that. Um, I weighed 116 pounds at the beginning of January and I'm currently at like 150. My goal is to hit 160 by the end of the year been hitting the gains, you know, been working out constantly, eating healthy, eating right, doing some boxing recently, which has been something that I've been really passionate about. It's really uh, very enjoyable, really fun. Been grinding on that as well. Started a running club with me and the homies. We've been running every single week. We try to do a 5k at least once a week. Most of the time on Mondays, sometimes we switch it up. We're trying to get that to be bigger too, have some more people come in and join the group. Just everyone's trying to get better, get their money right, their mind right, spiritually, physically, mentally. But yeah, that's really what I've been trying to do, just better myself. I'm about to turn 22, hit my prime, you know? This is when Russell Westbrook was at his prime time. That's a big uh, motivator for me. So I figured, you know, why not just get into it, start grinding. So I took a little break off YouTube and really, really got to do that. What are some other things that I've been doing? Got a new car. I don't know if I necessarily call it new, but this is my little soccer mom minivan. I love it. It fits all my friends whenever we're getting together, hanging out. Has everything in it that you would like. In the trunk of the soccer mom van, we got all the essentials. We got my trusty dusty penny board. I love this thing. I got it for Christmas. Shout out mom and dad. We got my Unagi scooter. 
We got two life jackets for all the kayaking we've been doing or if we ever see like a cliff jump that we want to hit. We got safety prepared. We got an extra book bag in case we want to put anything in it. We got a Burt Kreischer Ultimate Frisbee. This thing is so sexy. I love it. We got a DoorDash bag filled with a bunch of disc golf discs. Super fun if you ever come close to a disc golf course. Always have them in the van. Play at any time. Anytime we pass one. We have an SOS bag, jumper cables, stuff like that. Extra pair of swim trunks. You can probably see how that would come in handy. We got a hat. Come on now, in case the sun is too sunny, the glass is already on. We're prepared for the sun right now. And uh, last but not least, we got some hammocks, two person hammock in case we're ever stranded, need to sleep outside or do some camping or something, or just for a cozy little day. But yeah, that's a soccer mom van. You may hate it, you may love it. I love it personally, it's cheap on gas. You can pull up with like eight people in it, it's amazing. Another thing I've been really enjoying is going to the movies. I've been going to the movie solo. I wanna be a filmmaker one day. I'd love to make a movie. That's like my dream. Uh, YouTube is kind of a way for me to do that in a shorter way without a budget. But one day I'd love to make a movie. So I've been going to the movies by myself, seeing some really good films, studying them, seeing these camera angles, different shots, different dialogue, and just really trying to focus up and see what I would wanna create if I had the opportunity to make my own movie. What else have I been getting right? Oh, reading. You know those reading logs you have to do when you were little? Yeah, those were terrible. Everyone faked them, or at least I did. Sometimes signed my mom's name. Sorry, mom. But anyways, um, yeah, those reading logs were terrible. But I'm basically forcing myself to do the same thing now just to get back into reading, get my, you know, get the vocabulary right. But yeah, I've been trying to read. I have a comic book, which gives me some, you know, something that I actually should enjoy. I love superheroes. So I've been reading Secret Wars, the Avengers style book when the Avengers meet X-Men, meet Spider-Man, meet Fantastic Four. Yeah, I'm a nerd, but it's all right. I've been reading this uh, self-help book called Single Dating Engaged Married, which is like good for any path that you're on right now or any goals that you have in your relationships with people or women. Um, for me, at least, I don't know what y'all are doing. But yeah, your relationships has been helping me with that a lot. And um, also the Bible, been reading my Bible a lot more, at least trying to. I always say I'm gonna do something, but I just take it week by week, try to do more of it each week, get better at it. Been going to church, which has been helping me spiritually a lot. Been very consistent with that since January. Just been trying to get my mind right, my money right, my brain right, my heart right, all stuff like that. Trying to become a better person for when I turn 22. Like I said, I've been getting my relationships right. I've been hanging out with friends, doing some exploring, uh, going to new places, meeting new people trying to connect, trying to network, which I think is one of the biggest and hardest things to do in this day and age. Like people don't wanna to talk to new people. They have their little group, which I think is a great thing. But you know, getting out there, meeting new people, meeting new connections is a great thing to do. So I've been really working on that. I've been doing some kayaking lately. I've been getting into that, just exploring, going outside, going on trails, seeing waterfalls, just exploring life. Some of it on camera, some of it off, but I just really haven't been posting for y'all. To get to that point, I'm getting back into the vlogs. I feel motivated. I feel like this break has just given me some clarity. I feel like I'm, it's time to get back into my passion and getting back into what I feel like my favorite part of being a creative is, which is posting videos and letting y'all see, you know, how my mind works in the best visual way possible. And uh, yeah, I think that's basically it. I know this is a different style video, but I just wanted to let y'all know I'm back. I'm gonna be creating more constantly and posting for y'all guys more consistently. So is that a word? Consistent? Consistently? Yeah, consistently. That's right. Anyways, I hope y'all like this video. Feel free to smash the subscribe button, follow the journey. And I think this year's our year. 22, my year 22. I think this is my year to just, you know, go full fledged into it and see what happens. And I uh, hope y'all enjoy. See y'all in the next video. Deuces. Get out of here. Oh, oh this is a really sick shot. Riding in a six feet, I might crash cause you're on my mind I wanna go back, I wanna go